Tom here from Lauren Systems and it is October 3rd, 2020. I wanted to start out with the date because I'm gonna be recommending VoIP MS as a VoIP provider. And there is no truth without context. The context that is around the truth of who we recommend is the date because there could be a future version of Tom that does not recommend uh, VoIP MS, but I have not found any reason not to do so. My reviews of many products are based on our usage of them. The reason we have affiliate links for things is to help out the channel. So I will disclose that up front that we do have an affiliate link, but I will also disclose the affiliate link came probably six months or longer after we started using the product because I don't want to recommend anything that either A, I wouldn't use myself or don't use myself or that would give you problems. Now, I know a lot of people are going to ask about what about my favorite VoIP provider and I can't review all of them. I simply don't have the time and plenty of them. There's plenty of people out there. I should say you can find them forum posts that talk about different VoIP providers. My review is going to be based on this. I grabbed just a sample out of the account. Like I said, we've been using this for ourselves and we've moved many, many clients over to this. We ported numbers. So my use of VoIP MS comes from this particular account alone having 15,314 answered calls and uh, 807 hours, five minutes and 17 seconds of usage. This is you know, I wanted to show that we're actually using this and that this is a review not based on, hey, this is a cool product. No, we've been using it for a while and moving clients over to it. So before I dive into review and talk about my recommendations, or maybe that's all you want to know, you don't need to go any further, that we like VoIP MS and it's a good product. Let's first... If you'd like to learn more about me or my company, head over to lawrencesystems.com. If you'd like to hire a short project, there's a hires button right at the top. If you'd like to help keep this channel sponsor free, and thank you to everyone who already has, there is a join button here for YouTube and a Patreon page. Your support is greatly appreciated. If you're looking for deals or discounts on products and services we offer on this channel, check out the affiliate links down below. They're in the description of all of our videos, including a link to our shirt store. We have a wide variety of shirts that we sell and new designs come out, well, randomly, so check back frequently. And finally, our forums. Forums.lawrencesystems.com is where you can have a more in-depth discussion about this video and other tech topics you've seen on this channel. Now back to our content. Welcome to the most feature rich VoIP provider. Sign up now, get calling in five minutes. Well, that's a good marketing pitch. And actually it does hold true. I will say that um, from the time you sign up, they have plenty of available numbers because you can get numbers from them. And without porting, it does support porting as well, but you can sign up and be calling in five minutes, just like they said. I like that and it is uh, held true with the marketing. But let's first start with how Tom sells VoIP MS and the two ways my company operates here in 2020. One, we frequently work with internal IT teams. Those internal IT teams want to wholly own things because of terrible experiences they have from vendors, especially vendors who wrap them in contracts with 10,000% markups and the IT team gets Google and goes, how much does this really cost to have a phone system? And they start pulling their hair up going, wow, we're paying a lot and we get poor service. So those internal IT teams have the desire to own everything themselves and we suggest that they sign up with VoIP MS directly and then they can wholly own it and they usually just contract us for our knowledge and network engineering to get this deployed in their company. And that's one way we sell VoIP MS. So we don't end up with control over the account, the internal IT team does. And hey, I jokingly ask, just like I say all of you, but also seriously, hey guys, can you use the affiliate code to sign up? And most people are appreciative of it. And because I'm being upfront, no problems. You don't have to, to sign up. You can sign up without an affiliate code. They sell to anyone. The other way we sell it is to a reseller dashboard to clients that we are the external IT for. And that being said, um, their reseller portal system works really well. Um, it's a little bit different than some of the other ones, but I'm not going to dive into the nuance of it. Honestly, just take a look at it uh, and you can read through all the documentation. But yes, it works. And we'll actually start there with the reseller portal because I know a lot of people that follow this are other IT providers uh, that follow my channel and want to know about, you know, how do I set up so I can resell to my clients. Highly customer, high profit rates, reseller administrative interface, reseller customer interface, optimal support. And essentially what they do is they have a dashboard that you set up and you can tie it and brand it yourself. So it's, you know, you're not showing VoIP MS. And honestly, our clients don't really care who is providing VoIP service on the back end or dial tone service. They just care that their phones ring and that they have someone they can call when there's a problem. So for our wholly owned clients, this is something we do. And that way we're one point of contact, which usually makes them happy because no one likes pointing fingers going, they called the IT company, they said to blame the phone people and the phone people said to blame the IT company and I'm just an angry customer at this point. So when you do provide a whole service for a client, they're happy because they have one person to um, deal with and that makes it easier for them. 
and it's once you get a proficiency in understanding VoIP, it's actually not that difficult once you get your arms around it. But they have all the details of all the things, the panels, the details, uh, the URIs, blah, 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 blah. It's all right here. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. This is more about my endorsement of the product, and it would take me forever to cover every single little detail. By the way, everything they do have is in a wiki. Their wiki has a ton of documentation in it. Now, let's jump over like features, and they do have an extensive system. They're way more than just a SIP provider when it comes to providing phone service. They actually have essentially like a cloud service they do offer. We're not using it. We're mostly selling this as a system that we tie to generally with free PBX, but it's standard, you know, VoIP provisioning. So it does work with more than free PBX. Just as that's our preferred uh, backend system to use with on-prem phone systems. But yeah, they do have different cloud systems. They do have failover systems. So if you wanted to go to a voicemail in the cloud because the phone system internally is down. They have like basically tiered routing systems where you can choose how you want the destinations to work if you want it to land on a call recording or a voicemail in case internal systems are down because of whatever. Something happened at the building, the power's out, the internet's out with no failover, and you want it to roll over to another number. Yeah, they've got all the different failover options you can think of. Account management. A lot of details in here. So routing, call reports, rate limiting, number portability, in and out. E911 support. So they are compliant here in the U.S. with the laws for E911. Real-time balance check, security email notification, SMS and MMS. So you can do this and even have it send to an email address. So if you want people to be able to text your phone number, but it's normally a landline, you port it over to VoIP MS, they have that ability then to send those attachments to an email, which makes it super convenient for people who, when you're trying to walk them through something, but their internet's down and they want to take a picture and send it, just send it to the number, it hits our support box and away we go. Over here, available numbers. They actually have a massive amount of numbers already available that are just instantly you can turn on. That's pretty cool. A uh, caller ID, caller ID prefixing, bring your own device, uh, outdone caller ID blocking types, uh, and the referral program, as I mentioned. SIP compatibility, toll free and fax. Uh, that's also there. Now they do offer virtual PRI, SIP trunks, virtual fax, vanity and toll free numbers, and unlimited in network and calling unlimited customer support, T38 facts, and a REST API for those of you that want to feel adventurous and tie this in with something, um, that's another option in there. So having that means there's some extensibility you can do with different systems and do some integrations with there. Rates, they support US and Canada. Sorry if you're in Europe um, in terms of signing up for this service uh, that narrows the focus a little bit. I know I have an international audience, but they do have all their rates listed for calling those other countries in here. And you please note, I'm not logged in to see these rates. Also, these rates are as of October 3rd, 2020. So depending on when you're watching this, the rates may have changed, but they're extremely inexpensive. Uh, this is one of the things we do like about them, but this comes at the cost of people wanting more features or some other thing that they may not offer. Keeping the rates low means keeping things pretty minimal, but overall, we haven't really had to contact their support. Uh, it's been a solid product for the last year. So this is more my endorsement of the VoIP MS because the question comes up a lot because I plan to do a couple more videos and I have done some in the past about phone systems and some of the business aspects of them and people ask a lot of questions about VoIP providers. They also always throw in there their favorite VoIP provider. What are my thoughts on it? And unfortunately, because of the challenges of porting lots of phone numbers and setting all this up and then, you know, making 15,000 or some odd calls over time and seeing if those calls get answered and the system doesn't go down over a year, that means it's really hard to review VoIP providers. My endorsement of them, as I stated in the beginning, is because we have been using them for quite a while, not just because they're affiliate. There's a matter of fact, more companies that have reached out to me that pay better on affiliate, but um, I don't endorse them because I don't know anything about them. They may be great services. I don't know. We landed on VoIP MS as a referral. Prior to that, we were using Vitality, which Vitality we found very reliable, but we just didn't find many features in there. The price was great, but the features were minimal. VoIP MS is really solid on features, sub accounts, reseller program, all the things that you kind of want as a to have as a VoIP provider. So that being said, we landed on them. Now, the only trouble I can think of at all that I've ever had, we had a mystery problem where cell phones on certain carriers seem to have a hard time calling the numbers. It was a real puzzle that lasted all of an hour and went away as mystery as it showed up. Now, landlines were able to call, cell phones were not, and that was a puzzle. So we don't know if it was a problem with a particular carrier because we had problems with both Verizon 
and T-Mobile were the two at least we had access to test. But it only lasted for an hour or so. By the time the customer complained about it, we verified the problem. We contacted VoIP MS, who was very responsive. They also couldn't figure it out either because they didn't even see the calls hitting their system. They were, uh, Their support was good on that, but they're like, hmm. We're not sure. And after a little while, it just started working. And then we, yeah, it, it that's a, at a year, that's my complaint. So uh, however many hours are in a year um, and one hour that we can document it, say I dialed on my phone and someone else used their Verizon phone that we couldn't get through to a number, but only for this one little hour. And we think it may have been a carrier problem on the cell phone side, but it's also a pretty weird, obscure problem. Actually, I didn't have anyone else really to call except for other people with cell phones, which always went through, which was kind of made it that much harder to test. So uh, take that for what it's worth. For the most part, I'm gonna find their documentation to be extremely good and able to figure things out and able to set their servers up, choose their different presence. They have servers all over the US and Canada. You can choose a server close to you, the documentation, how to put this in its standard SIP. So as long as you understand the system, we are partial to free PBX. And if you're looking for a lot of tutorials on free PBX, I have very few, but I will recommend Chris from Crosstalk Solutions. Uh, he is excellent and we work with him frequently as a contractor to help set up uh, phone systems and at complexity. So that is still something I at least want to disclose in the back end. We're not free PBX experts. We can manage it, but uh, Chris is, and I'm going to give an endorsement to his channel as well, but you probably already knew that if you've spent any time looking for free PBX, Chris from Crosstalk Solutions uh, channel comes up quite a bit. Uh, really good tutorials on there. It's how I learned a lot about free PBX myself. So that's it in a nutshell. I do have a referral code. You don't have to use it. It's appreciate it helps out channel if you do but if you're looking for a good VoIP provider I give my endorsement definitely to VoIP MS and as I said is there a future version of me that doesn't I right now I don't see any reason not to uh, we will continue to use it and if for some egregious reason they become a terrible company I'll quit I'll remove the referral and probably remove the video and maybe do a video of why you shouldn't use them but I usually don't do slam videos on companies unless they do something egregiously horrible that they I think there needs to be awareness raised about it generally, you know, because there's so many companies out there, it's hard to review them all, but I'm also not going to run around saying or repeating bad experiences we had with companies like XO Communications who gave me a lot of headache when we had to move from them. And I don't think I need to say anything about AT&T. The AT&T's... <laughs> AT&T. They speak for themselves when it comes to dealing with them for, well anything, including voice service. And yes, we've ported from all these companies into VoIP MS and VoIP MS has been helpful for the porting. All right, thanks. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general, even suggestions for new videos. They're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.